Well, hello there. So, um, this is a table lamp that we use all the time in our backyard. And I wanted to kind of show you uh, uh, the, the lighting technique that I use out here because I see a lot of people having troubles with these, uh, with these instant lighting types that uh, they, don't, uh, they don't have the fuel air system. So basically what happens is if you don't preheat the generator enough, you just basically squirt liquid gas up into it and you get a big fireball and then <laughs> the gasoline wants to run down here into the wood handle and onto the fountain, potentially your table and just really make a, a, a really bad evening out of something you were trying to do that was nice and simple and easy. So, uh, <clears throat> With this, uh, you know, this lamp's featured a couple of times. First, it's just kind of a showing a general light up. Second time, we kind of did the, the rat rod finish on here with the, um, with the linseed oil. And this time, I want to just kind of give you some, uh, a little bit more detailed tips on how to light this up. And uh, what we'll do first, we'll start by putting a little bit of pressure in it. We were, we were playing Yahtzee last night, so uh, it ran a bit. So we're gonna put some air back in it. Make sure I got that open enough so I'm actually putting air in the tank. And um, so this is what I do. I, uh, I don't use the two matches. I don't use the one match. I don't use a gas match. I actually use a kitchen torch, which uh, looks like this. And uh, yeah, it's probably overkill, but either I gotta sit there with for 30 seconds or so with, a, with matches and hope it works. Um, Maybe a minute or so with the uh, with the um, the other kind of gas match, but with this is literally seconds. But one thing that I've kind of learned on this is that whenever you do start these off, and this is the big tip, right, um, is that you basically crack it open and shut it right back off, and then see what happens. Uh, I think a lot of people will crack it, will open it, and just leave it open, and then if it is not preheated, that's where you get the flood of gas that's very hard to stop, because as everything starts to heat up, it starts pushing out even more gas and exacerbating the problem, even though you have the valve off. So I always just do crack it and then close it, and that'll get enough fuel into the sea if it's gonna light and behave, or you need to get a little bit more chance for preheat, and in that case, there won't be too much fuel escaping. So um, let's just kind of show you how that works. So we're gonna start off with this. And um, I just aim it about right here, and then I'll crack and close and see what happens. And you can see that it needs a little bit more preheat, but the valve is closed right now. That's just fuel that's in there. But now it's preheated enough, so if I do turn the valve on, then it will uh, gain its full brightness and we won't have a fireball as a result. So this, I think, is probably one of the, uh, probably one of the better ways to start one of these off. Um, and it, it doesn't really add any real super complexity to it. It just kind of, just basically, like I said, it's just an extra step of crack it and close it, see what happens. Uh, if it needs a little bit more, give it a little bit more and then uh, open it to uh, the full uh, brightness. You know, well, you don't have to open these up as long as they're open, that's, they're, they're pretty much good. So the other thing too is like with this, I purposefully under preheated it to get that condition. So I wanted you to see what would happen, but also I wanted you to see that we had a under preheated generator, but we didn't end up with the dripping fire everywhere because we just cracked it and closed it. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the method, crack and close, and uh, that should keep everything running a little bit better for your uh, your table lamps and other instant lighting type uh, of the gas appliances. So until next time, keep them lit.